Hi guys, hello everyone and welcome back. It's been a while since I followed up on uh, a Kenneth Anderson adventure and uh, the time has come now for me to follow up on an another of his adventures. And this time from the book The Tiger Roars uh, which was published in 1967. So yes, I'm following up on his story The Novice of Manchi. So like the name suggests, uh, the tiger, the man-eater in this story was considered a novice uh, because it had made three quick kills, um, human kills, within a, a matter of just around 24 days. So uh, that's the reason uh, Kenneth thought it was a novice. Usually, uh, you know, experienced man-eaters don't kill in the same area um, in such quick successions. So all these kills happened between uh, in and around the village of Manchi, so which is around uh, 13 to 14 kilometers from the village of Ayur actually. So the first kill actually happened when uh, a person from uh, uh, you know Ayur was actually walking on this uh, spider valley in the valley which goes all the way past the village of Manchi to Kempekarai. So he was taken somewhere near the village of Manchi. So that, that's where the first kill happened. And after that, uh, two more kills happened uh, at the village of Manchi itself. So a total of three lives were lost to this man-eater in a matter of 24 days. And um, Kenneth's trusted aide and his shikari, uh, Bhaira, actually walked, uh, you know, braved the forest. He walked all the way from Manchi to Ayur, from then on to Denkani Kota and he took a bus and uh, came to Bangalore and he actually uh, you know, asked uh, Kenneth's help to come and help him uh, get rid of this man-eater and that's how Kenneth came, he actually came all the way uh, you know, he drove in a Studebaker, parked it near Ayur guest house and from there he walked uh, he and Bhaira walked to Manchi and that's how the story starts so right now I am very close to Ayur Ecotourism Guest House. I have just crossed the village of Ayur and the Ayur uh, Ecotourism Guest House is right about there, around there. Um, it's just about a kilometer from here. So what I plan to do now is, uh, you know, follow the tracks and uh, try and uh, take this route that uh, those folks took uh, from Ayur to the village of Manchi. Even though the actual route that they took is actually in the valley itself, the spider valley, where it goes within the forest uh, and there'll be a small footpath and you'll have to walk there. And obviously it's forest area, you can't get permission, you can't go in there. Luckily what I say is even though I can't walk in the spider valley directly, there is a uh, sort of a mud track which goes uh, parallel to that, but not in the valley, but I think uh, it sort of goes uh, across an adjacent hill and it also reaches the village of Manchi so and that's the route uh, on which I am right now and planning to take this I think I have Taramak road for about a kilometer and after that it's all mud mud route so I just happened to meet a villager here he said um, uh, you're going alone uh, be careful the elephants in the area and you know that sort of uh, increases the excitement but yeah it is 9 o'clock now and uh, I don't think there will be anything there. My biggest concern is, uh, I mean, I really hope that the track is, uh, you know, at least drivable because I don't want to have too much of adventure on this heavy bike. And uh, yeah, so that's the plan. So I will continue uh, towards Manchi and uh, come, let's get going. Let's uh, let the adventure begin and hopefully we, we should be able to track some parts of this uh, uh, you know, story that Kenneth had mentioned and some of the places itself. And I'm excited to reach Manchi along this route as well. Come, let's get going. Time to go. So the off-road starts from here. Kaveri Wildlife Sanctuary goes slow, no horn. Okay, so this route goes in the forest. That's a Tamil Nadu 
forest department nursery manchi inga manchi okay okay you go straight here this is elephant country so this initial stretch is actually slightly flat as i'd seen on maps as well and uh, after that i think um, you know manchi is actually located on a hill so i think we'll have to climb a hill there is another route to manchi as well which comes from manchetti and that's a paved path so that's a relatively straight forward drive but that's the path i'm uh, planning to take while we're going back uh, the reason i wanted to take this route is this is the closest i mean kenneth took the route uh, which was pretty much the same i mean he walked in the valley which is to the left of me the hills there the valley starts there uh, it's lord hanuman and uh, i am actually getting a chance to follow this route so the which is close to that so that's the reason i'm actually coming here okay so yeah that's the reason i want to take this route to get the feel of it actually i want to drive from ayur to the village of manchi well there is a tiger here at least printed on the stone this is i am having a feeling this is going to be an adventure i really hope the track is not too bad let's see one things for sure because of the rains uh, again the top soil here is eroded like i had expected <laughs> uh, but i hope it's not too bad like uh, now the forest department have upgraded this route also like this is similar these stones are similar to what we find when driving from ayur to kodaikanal which is uh, beyond that hill over there behind that so because even this is part of kaveri wildlife sanctuary there they have upgraded this put this uh, you know i think this is a whole uh, image here for awareness which is good so yeah the cattle up ahead as well so basically there are a couple of uh, villages here one is tuluve betta which i will get uh, en route here uh, but i am not i don't think i have time to go visit tuluve betta today um maybe for another day and there is gulatti on to my right side over there both of which i plan to visit sometime good to see some animals at least i mean domestic animals on the route because i don't see anyone on this route I'm sure there'll be village folks using this route but so far I have not come across anyone on this dirt track That looks nice So there seems to be some kids school kids coming this way Ya ura Ha Tole beta tole beta na idu idu dod manchi ginge hogatalva ದಾರಿ ಪರವಾಗಿಲ್ವಾ ಕಂಡಮ್ ಆಗಿದ್ಯಾ ಹೋಗ್ಬೋದ ಪರವಾಗಿಲ್ಲ ನೋಡೋಣ ರೂಟ್ ಈ ಸೇಸ್ ದ ರೂಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಕಂಡಮ್ಡ್ ಐ ಥಿಂಕ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಟು ಸೇ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಗುಡ್ ದಟ್ಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ವೆರಿ ಗುಡ್ ನ್ಯೂಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ಮೀ 
in fact i wanted to come after the rains well after the rains so that they would have uh, sort of repaired you know if if it is like this it's so much easier but then some of you know i thought okay let's go let's give it a try so we'll see so after a stretch of flat road now the route actually starts picking up i mean it's going up okay and munchi is also on top of a hill so that's where i have to go yeah i think this left goes to tuluve beta and i think i need to take the right let me ask this gar Oh no, he doesn't speak. Both road roads look bad. Manchi ginge alva. In fact, this is how the route was the first time I had gone to Kodaikanal. But later the forest department have put beautiful tarmac there. So maybe in a few years time even this will get tarmac. until then it's pretty wild if there is top soil here it's so much easy to go on bike without that it's slightly tricky ah oh, it's all covered with undergrowth on both sides oh wow <laughs> wow guys this is a very important point you know kenneth mentioned about spider valley he said there are these huge webs that you can see uh, whenever you're walking in a footpath like this he says the webs actually you know drawn from left to the right and check this out this is the actual spider valley look at that there is one Two, three, four, five spiders sitting on this massive web that is, you know, spun from this left side to the right here. Wow! Check this out, man. It's fantastic. Look at that spider there. Oh, look, they look big. They look big. Wow! <laughs> That's awesome. Oh wow, wow man. Look at that there. I see like 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8. I can count eight spiders there. Oh, and there is a spider right here as well. Oh, this one's right here. Too close. I don't know how am I going to Oh yeah, see how it's walking up. Please wait, make way for me. Okay. He's now going up. fantastic i'll have to find a way to go through here i think there's no web here hopefully this should be safe I waited for a little while here and the cattle have joined me fantastic the first time i've seen so many spiders in this spider valley what authentic account that kenneth gave <laughs> he spoke about his written about the spiders huge spiders huge webs i've seen these webs before i've seen one or two spiders but never look at there there is another five spiders there i missed that totally five six seven spiders there around eight there five here fantastic the cattle are making way for me i think they cleared a little bit of uh the webs so i can continue Wow man Great Thank you Such fresh air man Ah the monkey Good event inside I shouldn't stop anywhere near here The monkeys here There's a valley on the right side over there as well. 
Okay. Gets a little difficult here. I have other almost 10 kilometers, I think, to reach Manchi. I just hope uh, the track holds. It isn't very bad. It's lovely driving in this. Uh, you know, a place where, you know, the forest is actually covering, uh, I mean, it's growing up right to, to till the road. The only thing is you don't know, uh, until you turn the bend, you don't know what's there on the other side. It's a proper, proper adventure feeling. Especially when you're alone. It is getting slightly warm here. Check out the silence in the forest here. It's just me, all by myself here. This lantana that's grown here, it's so dense. I mean, it'll uh, it can easily hide elephants. Forget about any other animals. That's how dense it is. Okay, time to continue. I think the forest department might have burnt. Burnt up this area, cleared this area. I can see fire signs over there, <coughs> which is why you get a little bit of a view here. This lantern is a huge nuisance, actually. Originally not native to India, it was brought as an ornamental plant, and look how it grows just grows, keeps on growing, covers everything up. <laughs> And this place is as wild as it can get. <laughs> I don't think, uh, you know, it's changed much. If Kenneth comes back now, he will think, if he just comes to this place, he thinks, okay, everything is as it was during his time. <laughs> Finally, I see a couple of bikes of villagers in this route as well, which is good. Wow, man, this is like, you know, going through a maze. <laughs> I've got a little bit of confidence now that I've seen those two bikes go ahead of me. Uh, and I hope there is a decent enough route. This is what Lantana does, it totally covers up. It's impenetrable. It can hide elephants here. Awesome man. It's like I'm going on a safari here. The good thing is so far, uh, like I encountered near Panchapalli off-road ride, uh, this is not so so much of an incline or so much of a descent. It's it's all uh, you know uh, manageable, not uh, too much of a climb or a descent. I hope this continues. Fingers crossed. I can't even cross my finger in this gloves. Fingers crossed. spiders more spiders here <laughs> thankfully they have cleared up the path for me 
those two bikes i saw them slow down here i think they were clearing up this spider web you can see baby spiders here as well that's the mama over there and that's the baby baby and that's the big big one real big one over there wow check this out wow that's a big one imagine uh, i am like you know just going on a motorcycle uh, on this route and in the story kenneth mentions uh, he and bhaira they had to carry tents food storage rations for to last for a week a lot of stuff stuff on their backpack and they walked what like 14 15 kilometers i think from ayur to dadmanchi imagine how difficult it would have been and uh, knowing that there is a man eating tiger in the area wow that was some task compared to that uh, this is nothing much there will be a lot of leopards and bears apart from elephants for sure in this area but uh, both tigers we are not very sure i remember uh, the forest official told me the other day that there are no tigers were found during the census which is unfortunate but i hope the tigers are coming back to claim this land which is rightfully theirs <coughs> Wow. Wow, check out that hill, man. That's amazing. There we there there seems to be a lot of rocks over there and maybe a lot of caves f- uh perfect for leopards or bears to have their dens over there. ಯಾವ ಊರ್ ನಿಮ್ದು ನಮ್ದು ಒಂದು ಕಡೆ ತೋಳೆ ಬೆಟ್ಟ ತೋಳೆ ತೋಳೆ ಬೆಟ್ಟನಾ ತೋಳೆ ಬೆಟ್ಟ ಇದು ಮಂಚಿಗೆ ಹಿಂಗೆ ಹೋಗತಲ್ವ ಹಾ ಮಂಚಿಗೆ ಹೋಗತಲ್ವ ಹಾ ನಿಮ್ದು ಯಾವ ಊರ್ ಬೆಂಗಳೂರು ಬೆಂಗಳೂರು ಹಾ ಎಲ್ಲಿ ಒಬ್ರೇ ಹೋಗ್ತಿರಾ ಅದೇ ಮಂಚಿಗೆ ಸುಮ್ನೆ ಆನೆಗಳು ಮುಂಚೆ ನಾನು ನಿರ್ಜಾಗ ಆಗಿದ್ರು ಇದ್ವೆ ಹಾ ಇನ್ನೇ ಎಷ್ಟು ದೂರ ಇದೆ ಇಲ್ಲಿಂದ ಇಲ್ಲಿಂದ ಒಂದು 8 ಕಿಲೋ ಮೀಟರ್ 8 ಇದೆಯಾ ಸರಿ ಇವರೇ ಅದು ಚಿಕ್ಕರು ನಾದು ಎಷ್ಟು ದಿವಸ ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ನೋಡೇ ಹೆದ್ರಕೊಳ್ಳೋದು ಪಾಪ ನಮ್ಮ ನೋಡಿ ನಾಲ್ಕು ತಿಂಗಳಾಯ್ತಾ ಬಾ ಬಾ ಇಲ್ಲ ಹೆದರಿಕೆ ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ದಿಸ್ ಕ್ಯಾಟಲ್ ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ಯೂಸ್ ಟು ಸೀಂಗ್ ಹಾಂ ಅದೇ ಅಂದ್ಕೊಂಡೆ ಯಾರಪ್ಪ ಇದು ಅಂತ ಅವಕ್ಕೆ ಹೆದರಿಕೆ Wow, this one has big horns. You better stay away from it. So, and he also mentioned not many kills of his cattle also. So, he says his cattle are safe in the forest. So far, um, not many have taken, I mean, uh, not any kills to carnivores. Wow. it's it's absolutely silent <laughs> i hear some bird calls coming there i can't recognize those bird calls but it's just so silent okay the two bikes have stopped here for some reason there may be some water source or something not sure or they are probably after some forest produce maybe they parked there and went into the forest
they're definitely collecting something. Can you get it? Yes, it's passed. 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 What did you do? Medicine. Medicine? Yes, it's passed. Oh. मेडिसन एक मारती रहते हैं लारा। नहीं सर इधर पेंट हो। हाँ। मतलब इधर मसाला आइटम हो। ओ अधिक क्या लाख तरह। ओ इतना पाची उड़क पुट तगो तेरा। ओके ओके। सरी सिगना। आह दोस्त फोक्स वर एक्चुअली टेकिंग मॉस ऑफ़ द ट्री ऑफ़ द ट्री एक्चुअली। सो दे से इट्स यूज़ फॉर सम he said paint and uh, some medicines also, he said. I'm not sure what it is, what exactly, but yeah, they were after some forest produce here. You know, Kenneth, after he actually, you know, made this walk and he reached uh, Manchi, uh, they met with the local uh, tribals there and the ladies there told that the same evening that Kenneth reached, just a few hours before, uh, they had seen the tiger at the water hole at uh, Manchi uh, and they all rushed back to their huts looking at that and luckily the tiger had not uh, charged them so uh, yeah Kenneth got an idea wow this is elephant dung this is not very fresh but uh, yeah that's the evidence of elephants. Hat kilometer? Ah. Sir. Gadi Ogatala? Sir. Ah. Illigin the Inuket Dagidia? Oh, the Obadalwa? Sir, you're. Thanks. Okay. He's also condemning the road. You see here, uh, we have elephant dung here, and uh, you can see. Uh, the ants are feeding off this it's actually moist it's not very old maybe from yesterday night I'm not sure maybe a day old so you can see all the ants eating off it to the story Kenneth actually decided to camp near that water hole that night uh, a little distance from the water hole and he decided to sit with his back to a tree uh, about 20 feet from the water hole and uh, he thought he will wait for the tiger sitting on uh, you know behind a tree uh, you know he thought he'll wait for the tiger on the ground imagine this guy's guts guts <laughs> he sat on the ground uh, waiting for a man-eating tiger wow and uh, the way he has explained uh, so beautifully what happened that evening the calls of the forest and all it's just fantastic let's go a little further to see if we can get a view of the spider valley from there uh, what do you say key key knob is actually dangling since morning actually I stopped somewhere it, it actually went inside <laughs> I thought okay that's the end of the trip today but then uh, luckily I'm able to just hold it and then you know switch it on and off so I'm able to manage <laughs> a lot of bamboo growing here uh, which is why I can understand the presence of uh, elephant dung nearby is this a teak tree? Uh, the leaves are big but maybe not I'm not sure Here you go again, more spiders. Wow. 
Oh, there's more elephant dung there. Ah, this one's not very old. There's elephant dung here as well. Let me go straight through. Okay. There must be some sort of a stream or something here. Because the water is seeping from the ground. Oh. Okay, this is a descent from here. This is a stream. There's water coming from that side as well. Water looks really fresh. A nice stream in the jungle. Wow, the water is cold and it's fresh. It even looks like drinkable, but uh, I don't think I'll drink it, but yeah, it's very refreshing. Okay. This is an even better one here. Wow, the water looks so fresh. That was something. Gotta be careful. Oh. Behind this hill, you can see a bigger hill there. So between those two hills is the spider valley. another crossing okay so Kenneth when he was waiting in uh, Manchi village he notices uh, in the evening near that water tank he he hears uh, a group of langur calling on the opposite uh, you know valley on the opposite hillside just like that maybe and that's how he, he, he thinks there's a predator on the move. And after a while, that call actually starts coming from his side of the valley. And that's how he, he kind of translates that, uh, you know, animal language into, uh, you know, human interpretation that the, whatever that was, it has actually crossed over and come nearby. And uh, he waits very tensely, absolutely motionless uh, at the foot of a tree. And that's how he actually, you know, he waits for some more time and then he hears a sambar uh, deer call. So thereby he still knows that the animal is coming close by. And, you know, he's very tense thinking if the tiger noticed him or not, uh, uh, you know, sitting at the, foot here, at the foot of the tree. Eventually, you know, the village dogs of Manchi starts barking very loudly and that's how he, he realizes that the predator has gone there and uh, that's the time actually he also thinks uh, that that is definitely a man eater because uh, no tiger will go near human habitation searching in the middle of the night so that's how he realizes that and after that he falters he actually tries uh, to you know 
uh, intercept the tiger when it's coming back to the water hole it he just walks starts walking there uh, and in the darkness uh, he makes a little uh, a lot of noises uh, on the bushes and he turns on his uh, torch a little earlier and that was good enough the tiger actually realizes it turns and uh, then it jumps into the bush so he he actually never sees the tiger there as soon as he switched on the torch the tiger jumps into the bush so that was a close call that he had there okay let me continue with mine